Okay, so the hardest thing about building this was the battery mount. And uh, that was simply because we've got these grooves which we have to line up very precisely so that the socket actually matches in the right place. And so what I ended up doing was getting all the mounting for the main board, getting that all correct, getting the thing so it's, it had no bits which was straining. So then I had a very precise place for the connector. At that point, I would then plug in the connector into the so I plug in the battery onto the connector and that'll work out how high everything was and it turned out that the grooves were just above one thickness of the perspex so what I ended up doing was putting a slab of perspex down uh, gluing that to the main sheet and then getting another bit of perspex and then filing it down so then I had a very thin slice of perspex um, there but it was also the, the full thickness of it was there except the little groove which I had sticking out and so that little bit goes and sticks into the battery and I've done that on both sides and so that's how that all works. The mounting for the main board I've made pillars there with each one with one big slice of perspex and then a smaller one on top of that and I've just glued those together. The glue, uh, that's something which I've tried to keep under control while doing this, so I've used a mask and the idea of this mask was so that uh, whenever I go and glue something on, um, I've got a certain area which I have to be careful of, and like so. So I have a certain area which I have to be careful of and then I can buy another sheet of paper. I actually had a nice right angle one but I can't find that right now. But then that gave me a very precise area to glue around and I had only had a little bit which I had to be careful of. Uh, using hot glue uh, you get sort of streaks of glue uh, hanging everywhere. Um, uh, working out where everything needed to go, um, I made up these and this is where I essentially measured up all the various components. So in this case this is me measuring up the main board. And then once I had that I then worked out how big the perspex needed to be, cut out perspex and then I lined everything up nicely. So that was the back side of it. Here's the top bit and you'll see once again there's massive similarity there. You see here's the, the LCD driver and there it is. Here is the webcam, here that is, except in this case I've actually moved it off to the right a bit and that was to give the touchscreen driver a bit more space to move. I didn't mark in the USB hub, that was basically a I'll work it out uh, when I do it type of things. Uh, you see here I've also marked out the screw holes for the speakers. So yeah, um, all very basic stuff. This was very time consuming. Um, this mapping out, that took a full day just to, did I do both halves? I think it took a full weekend to do both halves. So I didn't actually do any uh, work with the materials in that weekend. So I probably won't show the entire boot process on here, there's nothing particularly special about it, it's just Linux booting up into KDE. I have made it so that it automatically logs in because I didn't want to sort of have to get up an on-screen keyboard to log in every single time. But the last assumption which I'll make on here is that uh, I broke my collarbone a few months ago and so I didn't want to be relying on my right arm for holding the thing too much and in fact I wanted to make it so I was using my left hand mostly on here. So uh, what I've done is I've calibrated everything as if it's my right hand using it. And as you'll see I'm pretty accurate, despite what you're seeing here today, I'm pretty accurate making it work with my uh, right hand. <laughs> that was abysmal. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, and the next video will be of me showing you the prototype one. This one.